In a recent survey, Chicago was voted the toughest place to play when you're on the road, in large part because your basic Chicago Bull fan is vocal. I mean, if you want to be heard at Chicago Stadium, you've got to be loud. And that goes for one particular Chicago broadcaster, too. The screaming man behind the mic is none other than the Bulls color man, Johnny Kerr. For 16 years now, Red Kerr has worked as a Bulls analyst on radio and television, and his love for the team is a family affair. The Bulls are like my kids. Uh, uh, we, I love it when they do good, and uh, I'm a fan. Uh, I know that the people watching in Chicago are fans, and uh, I still love it so much when I see a great play. It just carries me right out of my seat. Jordan past Petrovic. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Michael blowing in, feeds Pippen for the jam. Ooh, powerhouse! powerhouse! After a 10-year career in the NBA with Syracuse, Philadelphia, and Baltimore, Johnny Kerr became the first head coach of the expansion Chicago Bulls in 1966 and led them to their first playoff berth in that same year. However, it is behind the microphone where Johnny Kerr is most recognized these days, and his rapport with fans and players is unmatched. He's a diehard Chicago Bulls person. Uh, when you listen to him announce the game, broadcast the games, he wants you to win as, as much as anybody. Three seconds ahead to Paxson. Another three by Paxson. Yeah! Yes! Bulls lead! We need to get Johnny a seatbelt. In fact, last year when John Paxson hit a three-point field goal at the buzzer in Dallas to win a game for the Bulls, he left his seat. I thought he was going to unplug everything. Cross court to Paxson. He delivers the long run. Yeah! The Bulls win! You know, uh, it, it's really amazing uh, that I've been involved in basketball so long and it still gets to me when I see an exciting play. When you listen to him, he, uh, he really makes the game very exciting. Even if it's a 30-point win, he makes it very exciting. Johnny shares a special relationship with the Bulls superstar, even to the point where Jordan includes him in his pregame ritual. You got something for him, though. Oh, -ho. there are fans in the stands, and then there are fans right here. I think it's... It started one time when he uh, put the rosin on his hands and as he dusted it off, uh, we, Jim and I sort of complained about, wow, he's getting that stuff all over. First it was just for fun, you know, uh, but now it's more or less a routine, good luck charm to see what they do to, to combat that. You know, it's a great laughter before I go out and play. Check this no, out, MJ. Check this one out, MJ. You got it, baby. <laughs> all right, here we go. We finally got him. How do you stop Michael Jordan? <laughs> we did it. A man who loves his work, Johnny Kerr. The Bulls and Spurs go to the third quarter in just a second. First to remain.